out here just got our shack all set up and all of our tip up set up we're fishing a point that comes out here it goes from about five foot to about 10 to 12. We're gonna see what we got on here give this tip up about 10 minutes to sit make sure we get a good hook set on it and back here I don't feel any weight at all oh got it big fish big fish Take him. Feeling my big fish. <laughs> That's gonna be a big pike. No one's swimming with me. Fishing for both walleye and pike out here. Using pretty big yep. suckers for bait. There's a lot of weight here. No head chicks as of yet, just got to the bobber. Oh, this is a really nice walleye. Got a really, really nice walleye on here. This hole's in about 10 foot of water. Makes sense because there's an overcast. Overcast seems to be key for these midday walleyes. Alright. Just don't want to horse them. Just want to let it go on its runs. Okay. Fishing these big chubs on these HT Polar pop-ups underneath a nice floral leader. This is what produces right here. Nice, healthy fish, nice, pretty color. We'll get it unhooked and get it back in the water. Stay tuned. Just caught this nice 28 inch walleye. Gonna give it a good release here. It's key not to keep them out of the water too long. really cold out. Oh, there it goes. Nice release. The bull was spinning right when we walked up. Roughly 9 o'clock. First flag in about 3 hours. Still spinning. Now it's spinning again. It keeps stopping and starting, so it's definitely a walleye. Might be wrapped around something. Dang it. There are trees in the area up on this structure up here, so it's pretty really awesome. possible. Right away, I thought I was feeling head shakes. It's like, whoop, whoop. Start swimming with me there. I don't know what to make of this. This might feel really weird. Second huge run of the day. We had a long time in there without a flag. We were starting to lose our hopes. We stayed positive, and that's what we got out of it. Great fish. One more look at this 27 inch walleye. A lot of fun to catch. We've been real careful with it to make sure it stays healthy, and now we're gonna release it. Oh, 
there it goes. Again, power, strong, strongly swam away. Just got back to the shack. His pole was hanging on for dear life on that hole. That fish could be pushing 30, all of 29. Literally got here, my rod was about that far from being pulled all the way under the ice. I pick it up and this hog is on. Had a chubby darter sitting down there. Not even jigging, not even moving, just sitting down there. <laughs> success here tonight so far. I don't feel any weight. I just kind of feel a chub as of now. Got him. Doesn't feel nothing huge as of right now. Definitely. Oh, now there's some weight here. Now there's some really wide head shakes. That's what you like. Now there's a little bit less weight. <laughs> This fish is tricky here. Got some fight behind it though. Now they're just dead. Really dead weight. It's got a lot of line out. It's going in that direction towards our second tip up. So it could have caught that one too. Just got to the bobber here. I get a glimpse of it here pretty quick. Oh, nice, nice. Probably a solid 25, 26 inch fish here. Probably 26. This is the fifth big one. My buddy caught a 29 and a half. Caught two 27s, a 28 mid afternoon. And now this one. Just an unbelievable night we've had tonight. Just unreal. Okay, just caught this nice, healthy 26 inch walleye. Barely headed out of the water. Oh, there it goes. I like to keep it active like that. I like to keep it healthy. We're just starting to pack things up now. We just had a phenomenal day out here on the ice today. We caught a 26 inch walleye, multiple 27s, a 28 inch walleye, and we topped things off with a 29 and a half inch walleye. I don't care where you're from, that's a great fish. Yep, right away we got here, found our structure, found what we wanted to fish, got all of our tip-up set up, 
within the first 20 minutes we caught a 28 inch walleye it was ideal midday conditions there was an overcast that nice overcast walleye bite and we ended up pulling that one up about went about five hours just to lull in the action the thing is you got to keep your confidence five hours lull in the action went in the night uh, probably four hours after dark we ended up just hooking into one one after another just one after another it was just nuts just crazy fishing there was a slight overcast like Cody mentioned earlier in the day and then when the Sun went down there was no moonlight due to that cloud cover and that just really put off the walleye bite until approximately three to four hours after the Sun went down the clouds cleared and the moon started sh shining through and that's really what turned on these walleyes to feeding and also like Cody touched on we did our homework out here too we knew this lake was capable of producing big walleye and that's exactly why we came here late ice because we knew it was capable of producing some great fishing. Yep. Thanks for tuning in.